We are back with more smoke on Snake Drift. We got Finch Nero's Brofist this time. We got two Kartanas. Um, I remember when Kartana was like not used at all, and now it's pretty common. So this is most. Uh, this could definitely be Scarf Gren, and the gender gives away that it's Brody in. So um, Brofist is gonna scout for Scarf Gongshot here and switch into Tox Specs, Land or something like that. So if I was Finch, I was I would double into like um, maybe Kartana, maybe Bulu, something like that. Uh, I assume this is defensive helmet land with rocks on Brofist's team. So like, Bulu would be like a fine double to pressure that. Because it's not gonna be Sky Strike if the team is most likely gonna be on the Coco and the Katana should be Scarf. He just goes for Gangshot and plays it safe. And yeah, now Brofist can get up his rocks here. This is pretty much revealed that it's Scarf because he stayed in on the Coco, otherwise he wouldn't have stayed in. So that means that the Katana is not Scarf most likely, so it could be Z-move. Um, so if the Bulu is not Z-move then, that might be uh, it might be Bandit Bulu. Uh, this should be AV, this should be defensive, and this is either Bandit or Mega, not sure yet. Like it could definitely be Mega with Grassy Terrain support, I can definitely see that. And yeah, Brovis can go for Rocks or HBIs here. Um, there's no point in staying in, he's locked into Gunk Shot. I'm um, looking at Brofus team. Since he has a Pex, that might be like pretty spadef. This might be a bit more of his death tank growth. But yeah, Katana's definitely Scarf on his team. If I didn't mention that yet, it should be like looking at from looking at the team. So he gets up rocks, and now Brofus is just gonna go for hidden power ice uh, to weaken Finch's land, though. And I assume Finch is gonna either get up his own Rex or also go for hidden power ice. We do see that Finch's land is slower, so Finch is most likely gonna switch out. So uh, U-turn here would be a good play for Brofist as it covers the, like it just covers Finch switching out. I mean you can also go for Earthquake, but Earthquake doesn't do much to stuff like Bulu. So I would prefer, like I would like consider U-turning for sure. He does switch into Magirna, which is quite interesting to me. Like I th since I'm thinking this is AV and it should be AV. It's slower than the Lando, so like even if you break the HPIs, it's auto go into Magirna if you're slower. So yeah, Finch might um, switch into Bulu here on the next Earthquake. Or he might hope that Brof is... Uh, or he might just stay in and like... Um, Ice Beam of Lurkan. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure why he knocked off there. But yeah, Flurkan doesn't kill. Like, I'm a bit surprised that... Um, that he didn't go to his Bulu. Uh, unless he's yeah yeah if he's not Z move Bulu then he doesn't want to get knocked off like at this point it's like that makes sense but earlier when he didn't know that it was knockoff I think he could have gone to Bulu because it would have like it eats an earthquake and it eats HP is quite well so now he goes in the katana on the earthquake and he can go for SD here and put some offensive pressure on Brofist I assume he's gonna switch either into hard katana putting the SD to threaten this with a sacred sword or into his toxic here he could also sack this lander though. He goes into Toxapex, there's the SD, and it's a bit rough for Brovis because if he's not Fizz Death, he's gonna get blown away by plus two Leaf Blade. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking he's most likely gonna sack off his Lando here. Keeping Pex healthy is really nice for him. Checks Bulu. Checks Titar, uh, and Grassy Terrain can eat off Craig from Lando. It walls Greninja pretty much. Um, Scarf usually never runs extra sensory, and even if it runs extra sensory, it's pretty weak, and Pex would wall that. And yeah, so this pretty much walls like a lot of Finch's team, so there's no reason to stay in and let it take a huge hit. So yeah, he sacks his land, or I assume the Leaf Blade is gonna come out. Now he can go with Scarf Katana to scare this off. To threaten this out, or he can go Coco. Mm -hmm. Coco works. Um, so what he could do here is, it depends if he's physical or special. If he's special, um, T-Bolt into Z-Move might kill Bulu. I assume Finn's just gonna go Bulu. He goes, oh, he sacks his Majorna, that makes sense as well. Um, because Majorna wasn't doing much at the range of that. Okay, so he goes into Bulu here and I assume he's just gonna, like, Brofus is gonna go into his, uh, Tangros. Uh, if he has Sludge Bomb, that is. If he doesn't have Sludge Bomb, maybe he won't go to Tangrowth. 
So he doesn't show that he's Volt Switch or anything like that. So maybe he doesn't have Volt Switch as Finch goes for Mega Horn. Um, I'm thinking this is Choice Bandit. Um, the way this has been played since the Katana was SD is most likely Zemo of Katana. Um, that would have done a good chunk and it would have given Finch information about the Tangro spread. Um, that might come into play later. That definitely sucks. Um, Finch has to switch here, feeling a sludge bomb. Uh, yeah, he might go to Katana, but I don't know. Finch doesn't have a good switch into this. I mean, if this doesn't have sludge bomb, then Finch can is, is fine as the Indian Mega Horn again. But Brofist can just switch into Pex if he predicts that. So like, if Brofist doesn't have sludge bomb, then he'll most likely go to Pex here. But if he has sludge bomb, um. Yeah, Finch goes Katana because it covers the Sludge Bomb play. And it also is nice for the pack. Yeah, yeah, that was a nice play on Finch's part. And now he doesn't have anything to sack anymore. And Leaf Blade in Grassy Terrain does a lot to this. So Brovis, um has to either hope for a burn or he has to go maybe hard into his Katana. Because it's Scarf and it can come in on Leaf Blade. So if Finch predicts the hard Katana here and goes for like a Z or a Pummeling, it would be a fire play. Um... Yeah, I'm thinking Brofist wants these months healthy for like checking Titar. Yeah, I don't think Brofist is gonna stay in to be fair. Like, <laughs> So he goes in the Kartana, anticipating the Leaf Blade and Finch is like pulling out the Z move. Oof, he's like, nah boy. Kartana just dies. That, that was a fire play. Um, that definitely makes up for like the... Like earlier the play on the on the Magiona, there was definitely maybe a reason that like there was something I'm missing. I must have missed something. Like I don't know why he went Magiona early on the Lando. But yeah, Coco can um, go for T Bolt here to kill the Kartana. since it's not Scarf. He obviously had speeds with Coco. So Finch might say his Lando here. I think his Lando is ar around thirty-ish after Rocks. Yeah, thirty-three after Rocks. And yeah, if this is Specs, then this is bad for Brofus, but I assume it's not Specs. Uh, if it was Specs, I think he would have gone for Hidden Power Ice there. So yeah, he does change up his move. So Devon Gleam. So he's most likely either Gigavolt Havoc or Twinkle Tackle. Um, so Finch is gonna go and do either his Greninja to U-turn or to his Bulu here. Mm -mm -mm. Because if he goes into Tyranitar, a potential Twinkle Tackle would blow Tyranitar away, I'm pretty sure. So he's not gonna go to that. Yeah, it's either Gren or Bulu, and I don't know how healthy was the Bulu. Ah, the Bulu is pretty healthy, so it's, yeah, Bulu or Gren are both fine here. But yeah, this play was fire, flames, like, all that pummeling on the, on the Kartana. Definitely want to give the put the katana in the thumbnail now. Yeah, I'm not hundred percent sure what Finch's um, score is, and I also don't want to like. Um, I think I recorded like some other games from Brofist, so I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah, I recorded other games from Brofist for sure. I'm not gonna like spoil the result from that, the outcome. So he goes on the Greninja and Brofist. Is he gonna go on a Toxapex here? Or he's gonna stay in anticipating the U-turn. To be fair, Finchinator is kind of forced to U-turn. I mean, you can say it's a 50. But like, if he gunks and the Pex comes in for free, Finch is in a bad spot. So I think he's gonna make the the U-turn play. And if Brovis predicted, like Brovis is like wild, he's a god. He stays in, what the fuck. So yeah, he does predict it. He gets it correct. Um, Completely uh, like understandable why he made that play, but good god, I don't know if I would have made that play. Yeah, it actually makes sense. Like if you like put yourself in like, if you put yourself in Brofist's position and you think about what Finch might do, like Finch doesn't want to let the packs in for free. And this Bulo actually gets blown away by Trinkle Tackle, so like Finch has to hope that this um because I noticed because I have played my man Dennis before with a Twinkle Tackle, Coco and I ran the Kalk. And I've cocked it, that's like 65 min or something like that, or 67. So yeah, there is a Twinkle Tackle. Um, So like Finch, if it was Giggle, would have it, he would have been fine there, but it was Twinkle Tackle. 
So this didn't work out for Finch at all. Um, I assume he's going to go back to Grant here. Or he's going to try to set up with Tita. But he's probably going to go back to Grant. And... Oh no, okay, goes Tita, okay. So if he's banned, he's going to go for Stone Edge. But at this point, if he's banned, he's not going to win the game. So if he's Mega... And he DDs, that's like his only way of winning this game. Um, I assume Death and Gleam doesn't do too, too much from Coco, since if it's Mega, because it's pretty bulky. And he has Grassy Terrain to get some recovery back. If Brovis has Taunt here, that would be a nice play. Coco is not necessary to win this game. Um, it's nice to have because it outspeeds the Kartana, but he doesn't need it. So if he has Taunt here, um, stopping a potential Dragonus would be fire. Um, but yeah, otherwise I think he's just gonna go into his his Tang or Pex, depending on which of the two is more Fist Death. Yeah, he goes on Tang Rose here. And we do see it's a Mega Tyranitar, there's the Dragon Dance. So he's gonna have to DD up again um, to do a lot of damage because he like... He has to like kill packs and stuff. And he's gonna. Uh, Giga Drain is gonna do a good chunk to this because it's Grassy Terrain boosted. But he also gets some recovery back from Grassy Terrain. So the Grassy Terrain helps and hurts him at the same time. But yeah, Megatar uh, has a Spadef boost from Sandstorm. So that kind of cancels that the Grassy Terrain boost out as well. And Tangrus is not that strong with Giga Drain. Like it doesn't have special attack investment, I'm pretty sure. Um, he dodged a Mega Horn earlier, so we don't know if it's Helmet, right? I don't think he took a hit yet. But yeah, Finch has to DD again for sure to do more damage. Um, like, he has to, like, be able to Oko the opposing Tita. And if... Like, he also wants to, like, do a lot more to Pax. Um, so now he's either gonna Ice Punch and 2-hit KO the Tangos, or he's gonna DD again and hope that it Oko's at plus 3. But it depends on Brofist's spread if plus 3 Ice Punch kills the Tangos. Like, plus 3 must, might not kill if Brofist is more Fist Death. So this was like risky on Finch's part, because this might be a role if, if Brofus is more fist dev orientated. Which he could definitely be, like looking at the team and the way he played this. He does live that, so the T-Tar goes down. And the code IV's chat's going wild. And he asked bold. Fist dev, mm-hmm. He didn't say if it's bold, so it could still be AV with Spadef nature, but a lot of defense investment. I don't know, but it's definitely some... <laughs> nah, I assume it's bold. I, I assume since we didn't see... We didn't see Helmet, so... And we didn't see Lefty, so this is like Assault vs. Fist Death Tang, I think. To like overall tech hits decently well, like from a lot of different months. And we're, uh, but I'm surprised that he's not Spadef on this though, because like... His Lele switchings are not really existent. But he has uh, Tita to help with Lele. Mm -hmm. Because choice Lele. Like Specs Lele would be s destroy him if he didn't have Tita. But Tita makes it so that the opponent cannot spam Psychic. Which is, uh, makes a lot of sense on this team. Like to have the Tita there. But yeah he sacks the tank to gunk. There, there was no point in keeping it. And he just clicked Crunch here right. With the band tower. And Finch doesn't have. We already know that he's SD. And he's not timid Kartana I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he already got a kill and he got the attack boost early when he got a kill, so he got, didn't get a speed boost, so we know he's not timid. So yeah, um, Tita is gonna... Yeah, the, like Finch can't win. If he goes hard Katana, I'm pretty sure he dies to Crunch. And if he stays in, he loses to Coco, because he needs the Grant to outspeed the Coco. Oh, he has Fire Punch, that works, that works. Because I, I don't know if Crunch guaranteed killed Katana. But yeah, now he has to lock himself into like Rock Slide and flinch everything if he has Rock Slide. And even then he needs like a lot of flinches on Pex in a row. He has Ice Beam. Yeah, that doesn't work because Pex has Skull to Thaw. So even if he freezes, that doesn't work. Um, yeah, GG, this was a fire game. There were like some wild plays from both sides. Uh, the Mega Horn miss early was unfortunate. That would have given Finch the information that the tank was more Fist Dev and then maybe he wouldn't have DD'd again. Because if he didn't DD again, he could have Ice Punched twice. Um, but I don't know if he would have won that game. That would have potentially been a 50-50. I think the S2 chat is also talking about it. Between if the Pex would have like... Um, like also the Pex might have gotten, been able to get a burn on the tar. And later when the Pex regions off, he might have had to break that in DD again. But I'm not sure. I'm not gonna like theorize too much about that. But this was a fire game. 
Um, stay tuned for more Brofist games. I have like one or two more for sure. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm really tired. I've already narrated some games today. My voice is kind of dead. I hope I didn't mess up too much. And uh, yeah, peace out. Have a fantastic day. Um, there might be another upload later, but there might not be because, like I said, my voice is kind of going coming to an end. Uh, have a fantastic day and peace out and smash the like button for constant uploads. Goodbye.